What's up guys, this is Xthrill here and today we got a juicy, steamy, very hot video here for you guys. So I know in the past I've made a video kind of joking about this, kind of uh, on the verge of clickbait about this subject. But no, Mojang is actually stepping in to our hacked client game and is kind of getting on the verge here of uh, possibly getting into some dangerous waters with these hacked client creators. We're going to get into that in just a second. Drop a like on this video because it's going to be absolutely crazy. 2,000 likes for the Saturday. I just posted a vlog over on the vlog channel again. Uh, it just went up as this video went up. So if you guys could do go down in the description, uh, click on the video link, go watch it, go support it, go leave a like over there, subscribe if you're not already. Also, I have limited edition merchandise on sale now. That link is also down in the description. If you guys want, if you guys want to check it out it'll be down there if you guys like anything i'd pick it up because it's not going to be here much longer let's get into this video because it's very very good uh, and hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your saturday so if you guys know the hack client liquid bounce if you actually go to their website currently it is completely gone completely gone off the face of the earth it says it dating june 1st 2017 Hey guys, we received an email from Cloudflare yesterday telling us that Mojang reported us for violating their copyright. Right off the bat, doesn't really make any sense to me because under Minecraft, like terms of service and everything, it allows you to add mods to the game and make mods and things like that. And Hack Clients does in fact fall under that mod category. Uh, so like, you know, like that fidget spinner mod that I showed you guys, like, that would kind of be the same thing uh, that would fall into the same category as like making a hack client, changing the way you play the game. So I don't really understand how it, how they violated a copyright. Of course, at first we thought it was a joke because we received lots of fake email, uh, lots of fake strikes over the last few weeks. Okay, pretty simple. They get fake emails every now and then. Not a big deal. This one's probably just fake as well. I wanted to be sure, so I contacted Alexander, the developer of the Worst Hack Client, and asked him if anything like that ever happened to him. He told me that Mojang copyright claimed Wolfram, another hack client, in the past and sent me a backup of the email. Shadow Sploit, the former developer of Wolfram, has received from Mojang. So um, basically, Shadow Sploit was the former developer of Wolfram and had the email so that he just got uh he got the hands of the other copyright claim claim from wolfram so now he's got some more proof that this actually could be serious as i saw the email i noticed something alarming it was signed by the same mojang employee who also copyright claimed liquid bounce so basically the same mojang employee that filed the copyright claim against wolfram also copyright claimed uh, by the same person copyright claimed uh, liquid bounce so same person of course at this point I still believe it was fake someone could have just found out who striked Wolfram and copied his name to make it look more realistic so at this point in my eyes I think this is pretty serious however I wanted to be sure so I contacted Mojang myself and got a response after just a few hours telling me that they themselves Mojang indeed did file the DMCA takedown notice against us so I'm not too legal, uh, so I don't really know what a DMCA takedown notice is. Basically, uh, what I, from what I gather is it's basically asking them to take it down because they violated one of their copyrights. But it's basically like when Mindplex was going to threaten to sue Fakeplex for copywriting their plugins and things like that and doing stuff like that. They're, they they were about to file a DMCA uh, takedown notice. So. He says, so that is pretty much the whole story. We are trying to find a solution, but for now, we will remove all downloads from our website, follow us on Twitter, or join our Discord guild if you want to stay informed. I'm sure if you have any questions, you can go over there as well. Have a great day uh, from the Liquid Bounce developer team. Uh, so, yeah, and then also it has a little update going on. It looks like somebody made a YouTube video on it, and then also it says, the X Dolph client received the same DMCA takedown notice yesterday. Something is going on here. So either somehow we're being trolled uh, by the, by all these hack client developers um, or by Mojang or something like that. Um, and they're just trying to do this for attention to get attention to their hack client. I highly doubt that though. Uh, I think the more realistic thing here is obviously that they, they, this is true. It is realistic. They are getting copyright claimed. I don't know what they what they could possibly be getting be getting copyright claimed on. I don't know. If this is a stop uh, to hack clients. I don't know because this is going to get very very uh, dangerous waters because 
you really can't say that hack client a hack client is different than a ma that changes the game because they both do the same thing, aka change the game for you. So uh, I don't really know how that's gonna go. Uh, I honestly don't think any of these hack client developers are going to try and like. Uh, I don't think any of them are gonna try and like uh, fight Mojang like in a court or in like a civil case court. So um, if this actually goes through and happens. Uh, to these hack clients, it looks like they're going to go down. Maybe they'll find another way to bring it back up. Uh, but let's hope it doesn't happen to our main hack clients because that would definitely suck. But let me know what you guys think is actually going on here, your input. Like I said, if you have any questions, you can join their Discord. I'll try and remember to remember to leave it down in the description. Uh, the website link to Liquid Balance to read this is down in the description as well. Uh, on top of that, like I said, limited edition merchandise, the vlog that just went up all down in the description. Go click those links. Have an amazing rest of your day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Kind of a little bit scary, but I think we're going to be okay. I'm sure somebody will either figure out a way to stay up, fight the power, or, um, you know, somebody will figure it all out eventually. Uh, but for right now, we still have all the other hack clients. I mean, I can't tell you the last time I used Liquid Bounce or uh, Wolfram or worse, so it doesn't really bother me. And also, just thinking about it too, it honestly wouldn't be a bother to any of us that already have downloaded the hack client because we already have it downloaded so unless if it's somehow maybe it's just something to do with their websites i don't even know but like if you've already downloaded the hack client you should be able to still run it unless if it's like something like where pandora where your account is like linked to the website and the website has to be up for you to log in but i think i'm pretty sure with like worst wolfram and like liquid bounce it doesn't do that so uh, I think in that aspect, you would be okay. But anyway, have an amazing rest of your day. Adios.